the content delivery network. During 80s the internet was not a normal public thing and was only used at big institutions or universities that had the computing power to access it. When internet first started to connect computers together, it was powered by a network called Usenet. Usenet is similar to an online forum or discussion platform where users can discuss various topics. BBC only gained internet access in 1989, relying on a network provided by Brunel University. In the same year in 1989, Tim Berners-Lee invented the World Wide Web during his research at CERN in Switzerland. By 1990s, the internet service providers, ISPs, started offering internet connections to regular households. Websites like Amazon, Google, eBay, IMDb and Yahoo went online. Whichever the website it may be, chances are the users are distributed across different location which may not be close to the server of the website. The far you go away, the longer it takes and this slows down the website for the user. The closer you are, the speed increases. This is exactly where Content Delivery Network comes into picture. CDN is a distributed network that accelerates your web and video content though a cache server. CDN helps to reduce load on the actual server and improves latency. It helps in scaling when the number of user increases drastically. CDN does this by bringing the content closer to the geographical location of users through strategically located data centers called points of presence, POPs, also known as edge locations. Generally when the user requests for any static content, images, JS files, or streaming videos etc., these all contents are cached to the POP. Instead of directly going to the server the user request searches for the nearest POP and gets the data from there. The content over the CDN is a cache copy of the cacheable content stored in the original server. POPs are for future requests. It means, when the user makes the request for the very first time, obviously that data is not present at the POPs. This is called the cache miss. So, the request is sent to the original server. Now the POPs sync this data to their data center. Next time, when the user makes same request with similar cache key then it get the data available at the POPs. This process is called cache hit. Modern CDN delivers contents like, news publication, multimedia content, video streaming, e-commerce platform, online gaming data. As we all know Netflix moved from its monotholic architecture to AWS microservice architecture. It still has many systems which run independent of AWS. One of such system is, Netflix OpenConnect. Open Connect is the name of the global network that is responsible for delivering Netflix TV shows and movies to our members worldwide. Essentially it is the CDN appliance for Netflix. Netflix began the Open Connect initiative in 2011, as a response to the ever-increasing scale of Netflix streaming. Indiana 2018, Netflix had 15% of the bandwidth in the world. This was becoming a reason of worry for all the internet service providers as most of the traffic was being handled for one particular domain. Netflix too did not want this. And so, Netflix came up with an idea of OpenConnect appliance installations at ISPs itself. As per OpenConnect initiative, to lighten the load in internet service provider they started the OpenConnect initiative. The idea was they would take their OpenConnect appliance inside of ISP data centers specifically to cache and store video for Netflix. Netflix don't have to create their own data centers. Why would ISP do that? as they had so much traffic going through their network so if they had to lighten the load they had to create their own infrastructure. This is where Netflix saw an opportunity to develop an appliance and place it at ISPs. It is a win-win situation for both. ISPs don't have to create an infrastructure to handle internet traffic and on the other hand Netflix without much setup place their CDN at multiple location through ISPs. Now ISPs itself contain Netflix CDN device which is a super thing which happened to Netflix. Hey. So you just witnessed that Netflix is not only a major player in technology and innovation but also they have a great business sense. They have done this several times during their early days. Let me know if you're interested in history of Netflix. Have a great day ahead. See you.